What's up guys, this is Mike the Detroit Borg with a look at the Nutcase iExecutive. So this is a folio style leather case for the iPad 2 and the new iPad, so it will work with both. Now uh, this is kind of the best of both worlds, so we get a tri-fold smart cover like front cover. And on the back we get this uh, hard shell cover which protects the back of the iPad. And further, if we look at the back of the hard shell, we get this X strap which fits your hands, allows you to hold on to the iPad in a comfortable way. So this is great for walking around with your iPad. And of course you have all the cutouts you need in order to operate the buttons, ports, etc. We'll take a look at that once we get the iPad installed. So if we take a look inside, you can see that the front flap is covered with this nice microfiber material, again, just like the smart cover, which protects the glass of the iPad. We have this shiny plastic material on the inside, so it's nice and smooth. So let's go ahead and install our iPad. It should just snap into place. So as you can see, it wraps the edge of the iPad and protects the edges. Now taking a close look at the case, you can see we have this nice microfiber liner which protects the glass and cleans it up if you want. And of course it is that tri-fold design which basically allows you to uh, create this prop just like the Apple Smart Cover. So again, you can use this as I do as a grip. So if you're using your iPad, I like to use that as my grip. But of course you can use it as it was intended as a prop, either in landscape mode or keyboard mode. So if you want to use your keyboard, you can put it down on the desk and it works just great. Now when you close the cover, of course it works with the on-off switch that's triggered by the magnets. And if you fold it back, of course it does fold back flat. Uh, it doesn't really hold on to the back of the iPad uh, because the case is too thick, so it doesn't really work through that. Now in terms of protection, you can see along the edge, we have a lot of protection along the side, not a lot of protection on the bottom. So we have this large opening, which frees up the speaker, frees up the 30-pin dock connector. Uh, but this is quite a bit of area left exposed. Along the side, we have plenty of protection. So again, we have the volume rocker and the switch. Uh, depends on whether it's rotation or mute, depending on how you have that configured. Of course, we have an ample cutout for the camera, which does not affect the operation of the camera so there's no glare there's nothing that gets in the way of the camera's operation on the top again we have this large cutout for the uh, microphone headphone jack and the sleep wake switch again this is a fairly large area to leave exposed uh, but otherwise the, of course the corners are protected and sort of protected by the top edge of the uh, front cover now along the side, they've even included room for the SIM to be ejected, which is quite nice. So you'll have to take the case off in order to change the SIM out. So the construction quality and material is very nice. We have this nice black leather, very nice stitching, looks very good. Uh, the X-strap itself is made very well, so we have this nice leather X in the back along with this elastic, as well as the stitching for uh, the uh, edges of the X-strap. So it looks pretty nice overall. And again, it's very slim, very low profile, doesn't add a lot of weight, so it's kind of nice to have the benefits of a smart cover without the bulk of adding a large case. Uh, there is one thing, however, that uh, I have to warn you about, and that's the fact that when folded all the way back, if you kind of hold it more tightly, you can see it turns the iPad off. So that magnet in the smart cover is still affecting the magnet in the front of the iPad. So it's switching it on and off. So again, if you kind of hold it at a certain spot, it will turn it off. So that's going to do for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.